Hello everyone, welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. Tutorial of using OpenTeach project or OTP Artos in STM32 Cube IDE. In this part, I want to start to port STM32 Cube IDE to, <clears throat> to port uh, OTP Artos to STM32 Cube IDE. Another time, this question how can I use OTP Artos in STM32 Cube IDE? The first part is porting OTP to STM32 Cube IDE. If you want to use this operating system in your project, first you need to port OpenTeach Project Artos to STM32 Cube IDE. But <clears throat> to port Artos in STM32 Cube IDE, first you must create a project in this IDE. So open the IDE from File New. Uh, sorry, from File New, click on STM32 Project. Now, in this window, you must select your microcontroller. I'm using this development port to implement examples and create project. Okay? STM32F746 Discovery Kit. And this is the microcontroller on my board. So, copy the name of microcontroller, return here, uh, and you can write the name STM32F746NG. Here is the microcontroller on my board. Okay, you can see the maximum frequency core clock frequency is 216 megahertz click on this microcontroller and click next set a name for your project uh, for example stm32 cube ide and otp okay and click finish So, the project has been created. At the first step, you need to do clock configuration. Okay, now I'm done clock configuration and I've set the value of core clock to 216 megahertz, 216 million hertz, the maximum frequency. Okay, but if you want to port the Artos to STM32 cube, you must disable these exceptions system tick, supervisor, call, and append SV. Okay, you must disable this exception because. This exception implemented by Artos. So, go to the STM32 cube IDE, go to pinout and configuration, go to NVIC, and select this tab code generation. And here, disable system tick. And SV and SVC. Okay, SVC, Pendesvi and Systemtic. Disable these uh, exceptions because these ex exceptions implemented by Artos. Okay, 
and after that set the heap size at least to 16 kilobytes and a stack at least to 4 kilobytes go to the project manager at this time set minimum heap size and minimum stack size heap size at least 16 kilobytes and it's better to increase the stack size for example increase it to 4 kilobytes okay now you can generate the code by clicking on this gear okay click and generate the code okay now the code has been created by stm32 cube okay let's go back to the slides now after that you must download open teach project codes okay from github so from the website of project click on github and in github of this project uh, the repository of uh, the, the github repository of this project is open teach project and the github name is open teach project this is the address of project repository github.com open teach project open teach project the github name and repository okay and here by using of this green button in https tab you can download the project okay you can download the zip file of the project but i've downloaded this project and here is the project zip file right click on project and extract it now this is the directory of the project open that data structure artos license readme you can see data structure artos license readme okay so in this way you can download the project after downloading the project, you must copy the project directory to projects workspace, stm32 cube workspace, okay? But where is workspace? Open project, click on file, and click on properties. Add this tab uh, from here, from resource click on this button button okay show system explorer and here click uh, and here go to this directory here is stm32 cube workspace and here is directory of this project directory of this project Okay, now you must copy open this project and paste it here. Okay, copy and paste it, this directory here. So, copy open this project to projects workspace in stm 32 cube ID. After that, you must add open each project to source folders. Let's to see why do we need to do. Go to STM32 cube ID. Uh, right click here and press refresh. You can see you have open each project dash hyphen master here. But in core and driver, you can see a blue logo of C here because these two directory added to source folders by stm32 cube ID now you must to add this directory to source folders another time right click go
go to properties. From properties, see C++ general. Here, click on path and symbol. Path and symbol. From C, C++ general, path, path and symbol. Go to source location, tab, source location tab. Click add folder and add this directory. Open this project hyphen master. Press OK, press apply and close. Now you can see the logo, blue logo here. Now this directory, the RTOS directory, has been added to source folders. Okay? After that, you must add OpenTeach project to compiler include path. How can we do that? Let's just see. Another time, right click on project, go to properties. But at this time, go to C, C++ build and setting. C, C++ build and setting. from this tab tool settings go here mcu compiler mcu gcc compiler and include paths mc gcc compiler and include paths click on this green plus and from workspace add this directory open this project hyphen master to include path click ok and apply and close in this way we can add the directory of open this project to compiler include paths after that you must add stm32 cube header file what is stm32 cube header files i will say you you must add this header file to port.c file in artos where is port.c let's do show you where is port.c from here in open teach project directory in artos in source you can find port.c file here open this project artos source port.c open this file okay you must add stm32 cube header file where is this header file let's to show you in main.c double click on main and open this header file in main.h file you can find this include stm32f7xx underscore hall.h copy copy this header file go to port.c and replace this include by stm32 cube header file okay paste your header file here so in this way you can add stm32 cube header file to port.c file in artos after that another time in port.c file in this function underscore port teach timer start in this function where is this function it's here underscore port teach timer start in this function you must set the value of core clock you remember from stm cube configuration the core clock frequency is 216 megahertz. You must set this value in this function. 
here. You must write your clock frequency here. 216 million hertz or 216 megahertz. Okay? In this way, you can set the core clock frequency and introduce core clock frequency to Artus. And now the operating system ported to STM32 Cube ID. So easy. By using of these steps, you can port the operating system to the Artos. And now I can build the project by clicking on this hammer button. This hammer button. Let's do uh, build the project. Now the project has been built with no error and no warnings. Okay? With these steps. With these steps, you can port the Artos easily, easily in STM32 Cube ID.